Hey, how you doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring boss guide. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to take down Borealis, Borealis, the freezing fog, basically the ice dragon. So once you get to the mountain top of giants, and this is where you have to go. So eventually, you'll reach this part. For story wise, and the way to access the dragon, it'll pretty much all. As you try to progress through the story, this dragon will eventually show up. But if you want to fight him at a better location, um, this is where you want to go. So once you see that like mountain or that platform on the left like starting to disappear, you'll hear a roar and then boss HP appears and there's the dragon. Um, I think this is what causes like the blizzard to look up, I mean to appear. And when, this, when the dragon flies up like that for the sweep, this one breeds ice, so you know, that's a no-brainer. But yeah, this one's actually kind of a pain. It's up there with the Scarlet Rod Dragon, I would say, because of the the breath spray. So once it flies up like that, just go underneath it and then it'll slam down, but it won't like it can't track you that well if you go underneath it. So that's how you can avoid that. And best location to be at it's towards like the back legs. See when it flies up, just straight for left. Okay. You want to get a good distance because that ice, the mist, it has a good reach, like it has a good spread, so be careful. And when it does the, the foot stomp like that, be careful because you see that there's a mist. If you're in it, you'll take like some damage, your mount will, your mount will take damage, and um, the frostbite will start building up, so be careful about that. When it bites back like that, just uh, get some distance by running backwards. Stomp attack. If it stomps forward like that, you don't have to worry about it. Just stay in the back leg. Eventually, you can down it. Once you down it, I like to get a few hits on the head first and then try to go for the crit. But I took too long, so I <laughs> didn't get the crit. When it shouts like that, be careful not to stand like, uh, in the shout because that can build up frostbite. This one, where he screams up and then he'll eventually scream like low like that. So he screams high and then screams low. So be careful about that one. That one, it's easier to tell because it kind of it looks like the dragon's sitting down when it shouts like high. So when it does that, just like that's your cue to get the fuck out because otherwise it's gonna shout low. And if you're near him, there's that little AOE. So be careful. It's flying up, so we're gonna stay underneath him, and it slams down. It'll miss us. Go for the back legs. If it turns around like that, it's going for a bite. So just run back a little bit. Alright, forward stomp, we're just going to stay near the back leg, just keep whacking away at him. If you have anything that has bleed, it's pretty good. Tail sweep, you can just, uh, it's the same thing with the bite, just stay away from it, like run away. We got another down, so that's pretty good. And let's see if we can do it properly this time. Two jump attacks here, two jump attacks, and then we're going for a crit. That's some good damage right there, and also it depends on how fast your weapon is, I would say. So if your weapon's slow, probably just one jump attack and then go in for a crit. See, it's like it looks like it's kind of sitting down. High, high shout, low shout. All right. So that this is your chance to get like healing or whatever. And that's basically it for this dragon. So just really you need to watch out for the frostbites. Oh, and uh, try to not to like drag this fight towards the sides because there are like giant lo uh, lobsters. <laughs> so. Yeah, you don't want to get those things in the. Yeah, you don't want to bring those things in the fight. The four breath attack, you can pretty much just dodge that by strafing either left or right. I like to just strafe left, and then go around the wings. You can try going between the wings and the head when it's doing that, but there's a good chance you might get like tagged by the breath attack. So I, I don't want to risk it. And that's pretty much it. I think the only unique thing about this dragon is the high shout and low shout. And I guess the stomp. It's, I think it's only this one and the the one that does Scarlet Rot that has the... When it stomps on the ground and it has like the weird shit coming out. Alright, high shout again. Let's get away. Low shout. It just needs one more hit. Come on. Get out of here. Help oh, two more hits. My bad. And yeah, that's pretty much how you take down the freezing dragon. And I think once you defeat this dragon, the fog here will, will like 
dissipate. So if you want to like explore this icy lake area, you're free to do so. And here are my stats or my weapon. Fully upgraded Nagakiba. Here are my runes. Well, not runes, my bad. Talismans. <laughs> I don't know why I said runes. And here's my level and stats. And yeah, um, if you want to see on the map, this is where the dragon is. So it's kind of like it's towards the middle of the lake area from the side of grace but yeah anyways that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video so i thank you all so very much for watching hope this helps and i hope to catch you all next time Homes.